Before I end up being starved on the streets, I decided to go to McDonald's first to order my breakfast meal since having coffee at home doesn't suffice to my satisfaction. After my order was given, I of course hopped into my friend's car to proceed to the campus. Honestly, I have commuted in a public transport but my patience was stretched to its limits and just decided to carpool. By entering the campus, it is a must to check our temperature and fill out our names in the designated form. At this point, we are heading to the library to do various stuff, but considering the obligations that were given to us, our main goal is to accomplish one student government related task that I am currently part of and we are given the whole morning and afternoon to do so. The first thing we did was wait for the instructions and while waiting we decided to do our own thing at the moment. Then, as instructed, we walked back to the main gate to meet and escort someone as part of our task. It was sunny, not cloudy, so go me!
Once accomplished, I have walked around the campus to appreciate and enjoy its atmosphere. And then my colleagues decided to take photos and do some things like these girls dancing and this boy sweeping. It turned out that we have found another spot to capture photos of our existence and here are some of them. As you can tell from my narrative, I didn't film our snack and lunch break since I've decided to savour the food instead. <laughs> Anyways, after that, I decided to read a book on one of my major subjects because guess what folks, a requirement is on its way. And we headed to the dining hall to clean some snacks, not just for ourselves, but also for the other people behind our duties. It's been a privilege to experience walking on the campus wearing your school uniform. We may have not experienced real face-to-face -face classes at the moment. We had a lot of fun even though our feet is cracking into pieces. Even though we have been given this opportunity, wandering around the area of the university does still feel like a ghost town. But seeing that things are improving at least, the hopeless air of the campus will soon go back to being alive. And after that long, exhausting day, I have entered my favorite coffee shop to spend more time drinking frappe. <laughs> 